हाई फ्रेंड सबसक्राइब टू अरिजित अफिसियल यूट्यूब चैनल शेयर कर लाइक कर कमेंट्स कर अति अवश्य बेल आईकन क्लिक कर देवें सबकि नोटिफिकेशन पवार संगे थकूँ पशे थकूँ देखते थकूँ अरिजित अफिसियल यूट्यूब चैनल In the pursuit of culinary brilliance, Chef Manpreet Singh Ahuja is a master of flavors and culinary wisdom. Chef Ahuja's career includes three nominations at the UK's Craft Guild of Chefs Awards and contributions to cookbooks like Capital Spice and the Sheffield Cookbook. A passionate advocate for environmental sustainability, he played a key role in the Mayor of London's Food Save program and won the 2016 National Recycling Award with Cafe Spice Namaste. Beyond the kitchen, Chef Ahuja is known as the singing chef, blending his love for cooking with singing Indian movie songs and guzzles, gaining global recognition for his unique talents. Hello, I'm Manpreet Singh in the international hospitality and food service industry. My career spans nearly 30 years. Um, during this time, I have attempted to make contributions across various facets of um, culinary arts, education, and environmental sustainability. Um, I've been very fortunate to be a finalist nominee at the UK's uh, Craft Guild of Chefs Awards three times. It is truly humbling that my fellow industry peers nominated me for these awards. Current country of residence, uh, well, currently I live and work in London. I arrived in London um, on the 14th of February in 1998. Uh, that was actually a secondment uh, from the company that I used to work with. Um, and some years later, I became a resident here. For me, um, family is a term that is hard to describe uh, because I always think of family as a number of people living together. Uh, grandparents, parents, siblings, children, etc. That's the kind of family I used to live in when I was a child, when I was growing up. Um, of course, now uh, times have changed. Um, the members of the large extended family I associate myself with they are all in India. In the UK, I have my wife, my son, and my daughter. Uh, my wife and I are in full-time employment, and uh, both my children are uh, studying. Uh, besides, I have close associations with a number of people uh, socially, um, and I think I, I just consider all of them as my family. Like I shared with you earlier, I arrived here in 1998. Um, so yeah, we are in 2024 now. So it's been uh, 26 years and um, they've been fantastic 26 years. I have been involved in a lot of uh, diverse projects and assignments in all these years. Primary schooling happened uh, in a city called Ludhiana, which is in Punjab in India. Uh, and most of my secondary schooling happened in Pathankot. I was studying in Kendri Vidyalaya Number One, which was uh, inside the Air Force Station uh, campus in Pathankot. 
academically, I think I was above average, uh, but not in the 90 percentiles. I, I think I had realized that I wasn't bright enough to crack the entrance exams of engineering colleges. Um, I chanced upon this ad for applying to Hotel Management Institute. Um, unfortunately, I cleared the exam as well as the interview and um, landed in Mumbai's um, prestigious Hotel Management Institute, the Dadar Catering College also as it is known. Um, India's, one of India's oldest catering institutes, I think. And that was in the year 1992 uh, when I reached there. Uh, naturally, I graduated three years later, 1995, with very high grades. Not that high grades matter, uh, but yes, I was I was quite happy uh, that I had I had great grades. In fact, uh, I was the topper of my batch in the second year uh, when I was in college, and um, in that year, had I also been adjudged as the student of the year. There was no pre-planned aim uh, to become a chef. In fact, um, as I was growing up, I did not even have the awareness uh, for this profession. Um, moreover, I don't think it was considered as a serious career path, especially in the society that I was living in as a youngster. Um, yeah, but I got fascinated by the delicious, albeit very simple food that my dadiji used to cook. Uh, I also have vivid memories um, of the trips and visits to the sabzi mandis of the towns and cities. Uh, I used to uh, accompany my dad and my grandfather also at times. Uh, buying vegetables from the street vendors was packed with fun. Well, I, I, I did train uh, the Taj Group of Hotels briefly and also at the Yogroys uh, in Mumbai. Um, but once I graduated, um, I felt the right thing to do was to join uh, a small company, a family-owned business, a uh, small, medium-sized enterprise, because one gets a well-rounded experience in those kind of companies. Um, I did not want to be involved just in the kitchen operations I wanted um, to know a little bit about marketing, a little bit about my finance, um, accounting, cost controls, etc. And uh, luckily I was able to do that. And throughout my career, my um, specialization has been in those kind of uh, establishments. Uh, other than that, I have been involved in a lot of exciting uh, projects uh, relating to environmental sustainability. Uh, for example, the Mayor of London's Food Save program uh, also came away as the winner of the National Recycling Awards in 2016. I've executed a lot of events at uh, some very prestigious venues, including the Prime Minister's residence uh, in the UK, that's number 10 Downing Street, uh, at Kew Gardens, um, and also at the Savoy Hotel. Um, and I've, um, I've managed um, a, a wide range of kitchens from uh, quick service to banquets uh, to fine dining, etc. Three special chef menus, popular in London, my own. Um, I think one of them was um, a Kashmiri dinner I executed. Um, uh, luckily, I've been, um, uh, I've had the privilege of working with um, uh, Kashmiri chefs. And uh, this dinner that I executed, it pulled uh, a lot of interest uh, from people, um, presented in, in, a, in a nice fancy way. Uh, without compromising uh, any flavors, so that was one. Uh, another one I executed was uh, 50th birthday, um, where I did an Indian-Mexican uh, fusion uh, menu. Uh, and then there was one um, where I was cooking for a family that could not have any onion or garlic, and uh, they were sailing through the Mediterranean. Um, so I think those, those ones are some of the notable ones that I've done. Uh, my inspirational chef, 
I think my grandmother, my dadi ji, uh, tops that list. Simple food she cooked and amazingly delicious. Uh, the second one was um, my chef mentor, actually, uh, Chef Parvinder Muntani, who used to um, run uh, Kandar Restaurant uh, at the Obroy, uh, Mumbai, back in 1993. Of course, he's in the UK and the Midlands. He runs his own restaurant now, uh, but he was a great inspiration. Um, multifaceted, um, very, very talented, very focused. And then um, Chef Anand Shankar Narayan, also from the Obroy, uh, but I worked with him in Delhi uh, when I was, uh, was I was working there. Um, extremely talented, very hard taskmaster, made me cry a number of times, uh, but a great source of inspiration. Uh, support from my family in my culinary journey. Um, thankfully, all my family members have been very supportive. Uh, my parents were my biggest pillars of strength. Uh, my wife has been extremely accommodating. Uh, both she and I work in sectors that require uh, working odd and long hours, but we've always pulled things together. Our young children um, have also been extremely understanding, very mature, and that's a huge blessing. I think sometimes it can sound great to talk about achievements at the backdrop of struggles. Um, but I have no intention to sound like a hero. Uh, my growing up years were definitely very difficult. I always used to pray for a secure future. Um, I've never been worldly wise or clever, but God has been super kind. To me, uh, success is uh, living a contented life, being happy, working harmoniously, having loving and genuine relationships with people who we interact with, uh, and being financially stable, sound and secure. Uh, and I think I'm fortunate uh, that I have all these successes. My vision for the next five years um, I have worked in entrepreneurial setups, uh, but I'm not an entrepreneur myself. Um, but in the next five years, I hope to have embarked um, on an entrepreneurial journey myself. Uh, it could be in the form of a restaurant or it could be uh, a private catering business um, or maybe a culinary academy or a channel. Values and thoughts that foster personal growth. Um, I think what should top the list is being thankful and grateful always. Uh, Timekeeping, um, tolerance and patience, being open to learning uh, and staying calm and composed. The message uh, to aspiring chefs who are currently studying is that you must learn whatever you can from where, whoever you can be open rather than rigid. Um, while art and craft is important, we must remember that we need to make the customer happy. So we should remain humble and give the customer an experience of a lifetime so they can cherish that. Uh, also we must work harmoniously with um, our colleagues and treat them with respect. Never shy away from cleaning, washing up, or doing the mundane activities in the kitchen. Uh, these are all important things. Uh, and try and develop a peripheral vision rather than a tunnel vision. Uh, work across various departments to have a holistic understanding of the operations. London is considered the food capital of the world. Uh, hospitality and culinary uh, institutions in the UK and London have done a great job in uh, training aspiring chefs. Today, there are a great many institutions throughout the country that do a great job of imparting skills um, that come in handy uh, at the international level. The institutes um, have been way ahead um, compared to some of the other countries. 
Uh, but other than that, many renowned chefs um, run their own academies here, and many chefs uh, offer stage opportunities in their establishments. Uh, so I think for chefs, uh, budding chefs, and even experienced ones, getting cross trained across various cuisines or skills uh, is something um, all chefs must try to do. Differences uh, between India and London in terms of uh, the hospitality industry. Um, I think the basics uh, of hospitality are pretty similar the world over. Um, but if we compare India and London operations, uh, the major difference is that things are more systematic in the UK. Uh, we have a lot of regulatory requirements here. Uh, and compliance plays a huge role uh, in the operations and the business. Whether you're a chef or a front of the house manager, you must be fully conversant with maintaining the highest standards of food hygiene uh, and know everything about health and safety, regulations, fire safety, uh, and everything about risk assessments. It's always uh, worthwhile visiting uh, places uh, like the food halls of Harrods, Selfridges, Fortnum and Mason, uh, Harvey Nichols. Uh, just amazing places to go. Uh, the street food markets uh, in Camden Town, uh, London Bridge, you know, Borough Market, uh, Shoreditch, Portobello Market, Petticoat Lane. Uh, these are great places to go to. Um, yeah, if one gets a chance, it is also worth visiting some of the iconic hotels such as the Ritz that does um, a wonderful uh, high tea, the Dorchester, the Claridge's, etc. Um, some iconic restaurants you can visit, such as the Ivy, Bebendum, uh, etc. These must be uh, on the list. Um, I think visiting Chef uh, Anton Mossiman at his academy and dining rooms is a wonderful experience also. Um, of course, there is South Hall and Wembley and other eateries. Uh, all over uh, that are also uh, worth a visit. Three dreams um, I aspire to fulfill. Um, I think number one is uh, to be able to showcase lesser known cuisines of India, maybe through a food court. Um, I think London being the food capital, it offers the best platform uh, to do that. Um, the second dream that I would uh, aspire to fulfill um, would be to educate people about the hugely diverse Punjabi cuisine and culture. Um, most people, in my opinion, have a very narrow and extremely limited view um, of, of Punjabi cuisine, heritage and culture. I would like to embark on uh, this endeavor of educating uh, people to help people understand how uh, big Punjab used to be pre-independence and how diverse the culture and the cuisine uh, used to be. At some point of time, I would like to embark on this endeavor through print media as well as the digital world. And um, the third dream would be to have more women in a male-dominated uh, hospitality industry and also more young people from uh, ethnic minorities uh, join this sector. I think um, uh, both women and young people uh, from the ethnic minorities are uh, massively underrepresented uh, in the sector. I think as a chef, I'm, um, I, I believe in, in doing many different kind of things. Um, and I've done that uh, having worked in uh, different uh, kind of operations. Um, as a chef, uh, I feel I'm someone who improves the standards. Uh, I specialize in streamlining the processes, simplifying complexity. Um, I'm extremely supportive of my team. I focus on delivering excellence uh, consistently. I'm sensitized uh, to the needs of colleagues as well as customers and I, I form um, strong, deep, genuine bonds with um, with people. My self-perception uh, in the culinary field is of being an efficient operator uh, without being ab abrasive. 
and always maintain a light enjoyable fun working environment uh, we all have uh, limited time in this world so once i'm gone uh, i hope i can be remembered as someone who tried and created extremely loving and caring working environments in uh, commercial kitchens uh someone who stood for mutual respect um and abuse free kitchens uh and someone who cooked food to nourish the soul i would hope to be remembered as someone uh who was always open um to learning uh my association with singing and music actually predates uh cooking I started singing at the age uh, of four when my father put me on stage. Um, he wanted to perhaps live his dream through me. Um, I've been singing ever since, and um, over the years, my interest in music and singing uh, grew manifold. Uh, my colleagues, the customers, my friends. Um, some years ago, uh, they started calling me the singing chef. Message for the next generation of chefs. Um, I think show care in everything you do. Uh, treat uh, not just people but also equipment with care. Uh, try and minimize waste. Um, and consider the impact of your actions on not just the profitability of the business, and not just upon the impact of your action on your own career or career growth, but also. the impact your actions have on the society as well as the environment um and try to have strong work ethics um be gentle and understanding of all people around you be it colleagues customers suppliers or delivery boys who collect food from you